Um, I'm going to try and make a quick video um, showing you, well, I'm not really sure yet, but um, I've been working, this is my daughter's bike, it is a 2008 Vulcan 500, uh, that is mine, it's a 2007 Vulcan 500, um, they're great little motorcycles, I I love mine. Uh, hers is having a few problems. Uh, unfortunately, I bought it in the winter, didn't get a chance to ride it, and I'm paying for it now, but still not doing that bad. Um, I pulled off the carburetor a couple times, and I've cleaned it, and um, hoping that'll help the issue. I pulled the tank. Uh, unfortunately, when I brought it home, I unstrapped it incorrectly and it fell over and got a dent, so I've had to repaint the tank, which is right there. It's actually the second time I've repainted it. I was in too much of a hurry the first time. Um, I actually, it came without a fender, front fender, so I bought one, a salvage, and it actually is bent. And it, I straightened it out and repainted it, and that looks pretty good. Okay, so, um, currently I am, I just took the mufflers off because uh, I wanted to check them for leaks. So I thought I'd show you uh, quickly how to remove a muffler. I believe, um, I'll check the year that these are good for. I believe uh, 09 is the last year they made these, so, um, and, uh, Geez, I don't think it's nine. Is it ninety six all the way up? I'm not sure, but I, I know there's a good portion or a good uh, amount of years that uh, these were pretty much built the same. Anyhow, it's it's actually quite easy, and it's different than what the manual showed. So that's why I thought I'd make this. Um, there were three bolts to remove, actually four. Um, one is on a clamp right there. Um, it's on the bottom. This is welded on the top part and um, which is I didn't I couldn't see very well and after a few attempts I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get the top one off but so you have to work at the bottom. It is a 12 millimeter. Um, you don't have to remove the whole remove it. you can just loosen it. it's a on a, on a clamp. The second one is right here. I'll put the uh, muffler back on and show you at the end. This is also a 12 millimeter. That's this one right here. And you can take that out. The last two are Allen wrench hex. Um, they are 5 millimeter. They're, uh, they, they were actually quite, I mean, I, I barely had to turn them to break them loose. I don't know if somebody worked on this before or, but they were, uh, you know, there's no sounds of shaking or anything, so. Okay, so, the muffler here goes on, excuse me, it's on, like, like that. Hmm. You know what? Where is the... You know what? Maybe I didn't have to take that off. I think I just had to take off this one, which would be like right here, and you have to, like I said, you have to get it from underneath, and then those two, which would be like here and here. Now that I look at it, and it did say in the manual I had to replace it, but there's nothing attached there. So it looks like you got three. That one and these two. So, but that's 12 mil millimeter. That's, these two are five. The hex. Um, if you've never... If you've uh, taken off the tank, is quite easy, actually. Uh, you have to take off the instrument cluster which is right here which right there taking hers off you only have to take off even though there's three 
bolts here, you only have to take out this one. I'm not quite sure what the size of it is, but take it out, and then there's this little tab here that's in, under here, and you push the whole thing forward and pull it up. There are two wires you have to disconnect. You have to pull this in. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but you got to push that in, you know, wiggle it out, that one too, then the whole thing comes out. Although, <sighs> this is for your speedometer. You have to unscrew that. And I would recommend when you put it back in, put some Loctite on it because of mine, when I first got it, disconnected a few times on its own. Uh, so, you take that off. Then, you have your tank, which is sitting here. Once you have the cluster off, there's a bolt here. Well, you have to take the seat off, too. And there's a bolt here. You take that off. There's some hoses under here. You have to disconnect. Um, to, to take the seat off, you have to take this off. You push the seat forward a little bit and then bring it up and then bring it back. And then that exposes the bolt there and there. And then the tank, like I said, can come up. You, There's some connections here, here. And then on the other side at the petcock, you have to, uh, you can label them, but these are both just vents so it doesn't I don't think it really matters but you can label them with tape um, the two on the petcock are two different sizes so you can't really screw that one up when you uh, reconnect it your spark plugs are here one here one on the other side Just reach in there this one's kind of a pain because of this but the the spark plug socket that comes with the bike in the bag is the only one that so far I can fit down into there because the rest are too thick so I just use that and then I use a socket on top of it to turn that which is right here that's the one that comes with it spark plug I just put matter of fact I might have it here of course I don't but um at least I could tell you what socket fits that but I guess you'll figure it out. 